Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we're gonna be playing Watcher of Realms. Specifically, we will be forging mythic artifacts using my 3000 meteorites. So let's just get started. As you can see, I don't have necessarily any fully upgraded artifacts besides this Spirit Siphon. Um, I think that goes to show that I really need to be farming more AMR. But uh, to be completely honest, I have been rather unlucky with my AMR pools. Um, not necessarily because I wasn't getting enough Flawless Meteorites per run. But because every time I used my flawless meteorites, I didn't get the most amazing of pools. I've gotten, many times I've gotten purely legendary artifacts, which is kind of unfortunate. For example, if we go to the forge and click on the mythic forge, I actually haven't gotten a single wailing skull or twir of twilight once ever since I started playing this game and i have been playing for how long now i can't even remember i started i stopped counting yes still tomorrow is going to be my 233rd day so quite a long time right so this is very 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 unlucky i know it also depends on the amount of amrs that an account does but i have been doing some amrs like i have been using tens of thousands of um, flawless meteorite so we are hoping for a tear of twilight we are hoping for a wailing skull these are the things that we really want um, what else we would want I think a spirit siphon another spirit siphon would be good because I want to max the second one uh, an eye of sin I haven't gotten an eye of sin either um, and other than that maybe some golden scarabs because I want to max out uh, RMS's artifact uh, other than that, I think we don't need anything else. Bloodlust, Phylactery, meh. Maybe uh, the Euphoric Orb, because I want to put it on a healer. I have an Euphoric Orb already, but it's not maxed out, so I just want to promote it. So, let's see what we get. Let's let's go with the, fours, the first 400 pulls. So, let's go. 400. Give me the spirit siphon and the nah, Okay, next, let's see. I want um, your twilight. Oh well, at least we got the golden scarabs. But Dome of Horror, I've been getting this so many times and I don't use it with anyone. I think this is good on Shamir, but who uses Shamir, right? Okay, we need more. Let's do one more. Bloodbound sign or signal. I think I'm using this on Hatset. So I guess I can promote her artifact, but I don't I haven't tested Goddess Grace. What do you guys think of Goddess Grace? Increases defense by 10%, gains an extra 10% death. For every 10 seconds in the battlefield, stacks up 3 times. Let's do another 400 pull. What did I get? I got an achievement, but what did I get? Is this going to be the session where I'm actually getting my Tier of Twilight? Finally, hmm? What do you think? Judging by my luck, I don't think so. Come on, man. I really need a Tier of Twilight. We have one more pool besides this one. Oh, oh! I got Tear of Twilight finally. Oh my god, finally! I can't even be happy. I <laughs> seriously, it took me so long. I can't even be happy. But nice, I got Tear of Twilight, and I usually I use Sharpshooter Crest on Nick uh, to help her clear the left side of the race three. So that's nice. Let's see what we get with the last uh, 600. Because we're gonna be summoning up a bit. The Lunacy Visor and the Euphoric Corp. Okay. Uh, we asked for the Euphoric Corp, so. 
we got the dupe, so it's fine. Uh, increase block by one additionally, the wearer restores HP equal to 0.7% of max HP each time they deal damage to one target, stepping up, stepping up three times target. Okay. Okay, so max a maximum of 0.21%. No, a maximum of 2.1%, uh, right? Okay, cool. 2.1% HP restoration uh, for each time they deal damage to one target. I think this could be working quite well on a tanking build for uh, Mr. Reeve, but I already have Reeves exclusive, which actually deals uh, quite a, a bit of damage and also provides a little bit more uh, HP regen. So, in case you didn't see, I completed key raid 120 with uh, no power of dominance, only with Reeve and uh, Aramis. So, Reeve was in my Soulbound Arcana set and he is in a DPS set, he's very squishy. He has only 51k damage and he actually did the most damage, he did 100 million damage, which is insane if you ask me. But uh, yeah, uh, he was my main DPS, not Iron Mist, so it's quite interesting what the stuff that you can do with Reeve. If you guys want to, me to see me doing some more stuff with Reeve, uh, let me know, but uh, it seems like that um, artifact that we just got uh, might be the alternative for trying to do the same thing, to have the same sustainability or self-sustainability, but with the tank build. We'll see. So, Regal Crest, nice. Three more. Okay, I would laugh my ass off if I actually get another tier of Twilight now. But I highly doubt it. This is a, another good artifact. So, this was the session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there are some more videos planned. I also want to apologize for not doing any videos for the last few days, but I've been traveling and also feeling rather down. Uh, but uh, I do plan on actually setting up my desk differently and uh, putting up a camera and actually recording videos with my face <laughs> in the upcoming week. So maybe you guys should look forward to that because I, cause you can actually see me talk now if you if that's something that you actually care about and uh, yeah until then thank you for watching don't forget to leave a comment i read every single comment that i see don't forget to like to subscribe this has been andy event horizon gaming see you guys have a good week